Well, it's kind of hard to see with all the salt spray on the windows, but it's still uh, kind of breezy. Nothing like it was. It's about 16, they claim, today. I'll go over to the bay in a few minutes, take some pictures. It's about 8.30 in the morning right now. Where's that squirrel at? Well, I'm headed to the butcher shop to pick up some knives. But Chris is uh, at Trader Joe's, trying to get into Trader Joe's, and they got a long line like they did the other day. It's Trader Joe's right there. So it's not as long as it was, but she's inside now. I went and got some gas at a Wawa. It's, it's much better forecast than what we were expecting for today. Well, there's Great Matter City. You can see it's died down some from what it was. The, the seas are still up pretty good to the beach. I'm not sure I can get out there, but I may try it in a little while. Well, I'm thinking about going. No rain forecasted. Tides low in about two to three hours. Somebody asked what this was right here. This is like a, a mini library. They got two of them. They put books in them. It's called the Bay Lake Pines Little Free Library. They had one last year or year before last, and they put another one up. Let's go take a peek. I got a feeling it's too work, too rough to work on the in the water, but I might be able to work along the edge. Okay. And the tide ought to get off uh, fairly good, maybe. That's the problem. I see a nice hole down the other end. Moved a lot of grass. Look at that grass. Miles and miles of grass came in. I just don't think you can work there too comfortably. But once it, you know, it's, like I said, the tie's not off yet, so I, I'm hoping maybe it, uh, it gets off. I got a good mind to go down to the oak tree, which is, you know, that way about a mile. As much as wind we had, I guess I could go anywhere I wanted to. Let's go home and get our stuff in there. We'll come back or eat the ride to the oak tree. Well, I'll be at the oak tree in about four minutes. I got my leader driving. Uh oh, stop like bat, bat, bat brakes. I'm going to uh, walk from the oak tree back to my house and scout out as I go that way. There's a big old Bowser with his head out of the window. Pretty? Okay, my leader's headed home. I'm headed in. I hope the weather don't get any worse. Looks like I said. Okay. <laughs> Storm storage. They're almost at the top. Be downhill in a minute. Ah, the crest. Looks okay up this way. But there are some nice little inner sloughs right down through there. I may have to go over there first. That's only about what? A quarter of a mile or less? Eighth of a mile? And there's some over here too. Decisions. I hate them. I hate decisions. 
Well, the first signal is a 17. 18. I got a feeling it's iron, but it may be gray matter. And that reads 18 out. Just neither. It's a big piece of copper. God. This is a five. We just dug another 18, but it was a big nut. This is a piece of aluminum. got a ring in the scoop but it's the wrong kind of ring but I was excited for a minute a screeching loud 22 probably gray matter or it might be iron too Be a Chinaman down there hollering. Get me out of there! Get me out of there! Twenty-two solid. I hope that's not it. That's a hinge. <laughs> a stainless steel boat hinge. Some targets around. Some nice-looking rocks up here, man. A lot of rocks. I don't know, but no gray matter yet. That's good, because not much gray matter this way, or some, but you know, nothing like it is to the east. I think there's a nitro coming. I, actually, there's two coming. Look at these rocks, and you see them? Nice rocks right here. Well, here's the first little slough we're going to be into right here. It's off the beach a good ways. Stand by. You can see it really starts out here and drops down deep, you see? Comes off that ledge, falls right in there like that. Rookum. I think it's ideal. But nothing has materialized yet. Twenty-four, twenty-six, right on the edge of the drop off there. Sure is loud, whatever it is. 
as we have captured it, looks like a big chunk of damn aluminum to me. Another chunk of aluminum, that is. I can't tell what it is. I have to get home for closer observation. The right color though. I got some sort of nickel here. I we'll have to wait till we get home to see what it is. Well, I think my luck has run out. The 30. It's starting to rain. Kind of heavy. I do have a couple nice nickels. Maybe a nice dime here. We'll have to see. A six. Nice out. I think find it. Looks like crap to me. Crappy aluminum. Look at that. Weekend's free. That's an old flip phone right there. Yes, sir. Reba. I need a bigger scoop. We'll go in my scoop. Look at that. Nobody around. I guess it's mine. See if I can get it in my pouch. A lot of grass, ain't it? I don't know where it's been, but I know where it is now. Miles and miles of grass. Well, I didn't get too wet. You can see it's just a good sprinkle, but it's... I'm a little bit wet, but I'm, I'm looking for a shower pretty quick when I get home. If I got what I think I got, I got a nice day. Not ring-wise, I didn't find any rings, but if some of the coins I found were silver, they're cookie coins, you know, with thick crust on them. We'll get them home, we'll get them cleaned up. We might have had a good silver day. We'll have to see how it goes. You know we don't have too far to go now. We're coming through the entrance way. That's a good sign. I got a big fence up to keep from getting on the sod, I guess. I got the uh, sign proof back on my signs for my van. If I can, if I got memory enough, I'll put them in the thing so I can look at them. And give me your opinion. Right here, right here, I got two knives. And right along here, above the handle, I got uh, knives, scissors, and yard tools. And right here on the door, I got Max the knife sharpening. On the back, 
The back top window I got Max the knife sharpening. And on this window I got the same two knives. At the very bottom, just above the bumper, I got uh, maxandknifesharpening.com, my webpage. We'll see how it goes. When he... Well, there's the nut. I got a heart shaped diamond with the backing, but the diamond is not real, but it's pretty. I guess this is a gold tooth that you slide over one of your teeth instead of, you know, like a, like a, you know, I can't even think what you call them things now we catch, we find with all the teeth on them, a grill. This is a single grill, I guess. And the best of the nickels were 264s and the rest of them were junk. So I'm disappointed. I thought I had might have had some silver ones, but I don't. Nice phone though. The rain run me in and ran the grill in on the porch. Mmm, look at this. From the butcher today when I picked up his knives. I don't like knives. Mmm, I like them. Well, the runes are done. I'm waiting for the grill to get ready now. And we got a square guy in there with some potatoes. Well, they're flipped. What are you doing with that water saving it? Yeah. Pretty good for your garden. Big old Jack, we have a steak in a few minutes, Jack. Look at that. We're almost back to normal. No wind. Everything is nice and calm and collected. Except for the rain. And if I didn't tell you, which I, I think I told you, I got the first farmer's market Saturday, 9 to noon at East Beach. I'm filling in for my buddy Rick. Look at that red bird. He's red, eh? Oh, gone now. I forgot to take a picture of him on the grill. I'm getting ready to hit the plate now. Along with the spare guy and the mushrooms. My buddy Rick in uh, South Carolina is building a new uh, skiff. This is the second one he's built. It's like a big kayak. The first one was smaller than the one he's building right now. He's got two videos out. This is part two. If you like fishing boats and people can build fishing boats from foam, ch check him out. This one's going to be 13 foot and maybe 36 to 40 inches wide, I think he said, in the first, first video. This is video two right here. Rick INC South Cal... Uh, that's what it says. He's a metal detecting guy, too. It's cool to be crafted like that, be able to build things. Got a hell of a shop. You're going to see some of the pictures. Well, you'll see him if you watch this video. He's got all kinds of stuff in there. I can't sit down. Look. There's a varmint in my chair. Get that varmint out of my chair so I can sit down. You in this?